Yo, what up, fam? This is your boy, Sid, the RC guy. We are down here in the dungeon, as we do oh so often, here with Project Joker, a.k.a. ProLine's Monster Truck. This thing is a beast. It's been a long time running, seems like for a couple of weeks now, and people are definitely wanting to see what it's all about. So, But I did promise that I would do a video on how to fill and do shocks that have a bladder versus a bleeder cap. So, these are pre-built. I've already done a video of how you build these things, but there's definitely a different way to put them or to get your oil in there and everything set with using a bladder. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera in. We're going to fill these up. We're going to get it going. All right, so let's get this going. So there's a couple ways you can do shocks. One, there's a couple different stands that'll actually hold your shocks. This is a system that actually pumps the air out, so it's kind of a cheap system. But I'm going to show you guys the basics. So, ProLine does provide you with some 45 weight shock oil, which is going to be good for what we're doing because I know I'm going to be bombing the heck out of this truck. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill these all the way up, just to about the line, a little bit past it, not by a lot. And then one thing to remember when you're filling these up is when it comes time to siphon them a little bit, you want to siphon them just a smidgen, but I'm going to show you a way to do it. Because if you do it all crazy, you can actually shoot the oil out of these, kind of like a gun. So you'll have oil all over the place. So we have them all filled up real nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull one of them out and you're gonna siphon it just a little bit. And it's gonna immediately do a big air bubble. And you just wanna do it just a smidgen. And then you just let these bad boys sit. So we're gonna let them sit and uh, we'll be right back. But you know what we're really gonna do? We're gonna cheat. So we're gonna put the air pump system on that still tights everything up we're gonna suck all the air out and then when they're done I'll be back all right now that we've got all the air out I'm gonna go ahead and finish topping these off because some of them after you pull the air out the oil goes way down so here's where you want to fill them up to where they have just a little bit of a ridge on the top side now when you go to put your caps on Fair warning, do have a paper towel nearby. So, some shocks, this is really loose, the little bladder inside of there, but on these ones, they're not. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we're going to go ahead and put these on, because you will have to bleed them, burp them kind of deal. So you'll push the shock all the way up. Like I said, you're going to have some excess oil that as soon as you put it on, is gonna spill out, so don't worry here. Go ahead and push this on. And then usually I let go of the bottom just a smidge while filling these, or finishing off. Because there is a little bit of a bleeder cap on the side that's going to help with the breathing part. And then you just screw them all the way down. It's way simpler than what most people seem to think. Especially with this having an overflow. So then what you do is you wipe off all your excess. You will have a little bit of a bit of a mess on your hands but not a big deal this is where I would come in with a cleaner a parts cleaner or spray cleaner that'll blast all that excess oil off so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of these shocks you see we have no rebound go ahead and pull that bad boy out and there you go now you've got your shock all finished out so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these out and back the camera out all right now that you got them filled all you got to do is put them back together put them on your ride and you're off and rolling as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Go over to Sid the RC Guy on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and hit them like buttons and subscribe buttons. If you guys have any questions and want to get a hold of me personally, hit me up at Sid the RC Guy at Yahoo.com. Or, uh, yeah, yeah Yahoo.com. How to think about that again. And as always, guys, keep your life was charged. We'll see you soon.